Okay, welcome everyone. Um, as uh, Daniela introduced me, I am uh, Gian Danielu Kliseder. I'm a PhD student at Politecnico di Milano, Italy. And um, Professor Maria Antoni Brevelli is also a part of this project. And the National Research Council of Italy uh, has, um, has been also part of this uh, work of the, um, of the project. So my presentation is about the visualization of big geodata. Uh, an experiment with the star deformation time series. Uh, I will firstly give an introduction um, on this work and present you the motiva motivations uh, for the work that we did. Uh, and then how we generated the DINSTAR time series, uh, how we are sharing uh, this data, and uh, what are the uh, methods that we used to um, visualize uh, this uh, time series data, and then uh, the conclusions. Uh, Professor uh, Brevelli already introduced the project Urban Geobig Data, but there are also new people uh, in this presentation, so I will give a short overview. Uh, this is a project of national interest, uh, funded by the Italian Min Ministry of Education, University and Research. Uh, the project aims to improve the knowledge of urban areas by exploiting the Earth observation data for ground deformation, soil consumption, land use, land cover, and uh, Internet of Things data on mobility, and also uh, the three-dimensional city visualization, which currently involves only buildings. Uh, the project has five cities in focus. Uh, which are Naples, Milan, uh, Turin, uh, Padua, and Rome. And the um, source code of the project that I did, so the visualization of uh, all these uh, data, data sets produced in the project, uh, is available on GitHub. Uh, you can find it following this link. Uh, so, um, as I said earlier, uh, in this project, there are many uh, use cases. Uh, for the ones that were already in the presentation uh, before you, you have seen them. This presentation is only about the deformation data. Uh, we aim to encourage the use of time series of big geo data, not only by scientists, but also by public, administrat public administrators and the citizens of urban areas. Uh, we visualize ground deformation time series derived uh, through differential synthetic aperture radar interferometry, or in short, DINSAR, uh, in those urban areas that I mentioned earlier, which are in the focus of the project, uh, on a three-dimensional map, or in other words, on a virtual globe. Uh, the visualiza visualization of these data sets are important uh, because it allows both experts and non-experts to discover spatial temporal patterns of deformation. Uh, we use uh, only open standards and free and open source software for web uh, to enable interoperability, replicability, and reusability. I am not so knowledgeable on the generation of the DINSAR uh, time series generation. The research, uh, National Research Council of Italy uh, had uh, this uh, responsibility in the project. Uh, this has been implemented uh, using the small baseline subset technique that was developed in 2002. And um, we are, uh, they are using star images uh, collected by the ERS and EMISA satellites of European Space Agency uh, for the years between uh, 1992 and 2010. And then uh, using these uh, deformation time series data, we are generating uh, two kinds of uh, data sets. The first one is a mean deformation velocity maps, uh, which are in vector format, and uh, they are shared uh, on a, a true geonode-based geo application called GetIt. Uh, you can also access this information and download them uh, following this link, uh, ugbd.get-it.it. Uh, using this platform, you can download the layers, download the metadata, and uh, if you are administrator, you can also edit the layer in, in this application. Um, we uh, have this data set, so mean deformation velocity maps, for all the five cities. Uh, we use the same uh, style for all of them so that we can have a visual comparison between, between uh, those cities. For instance, you can immediately see that in Padua, in average, 
not through time, but in average, there has been um, upwards uh, deformation movement. But uh, in Rome, more than Milan, you can immediately see this, it has been the opposite. Uh, we are setting the style in uh, GeoServer using SLD, which is another OGC standard. And um, uh, this is it for uh, this uh, data set. And uh, we also defined and implemented a parametric procedure in Java to generate a temporal anim animation of time series using cumulative deformation maps. The details of this procedure can be found in the, in the paper. Uh, animation allows getting an understanding of deformation for a period of time for all the deformation points, not a single one, because we have the uh, time series for a single point in vector format, but it doesn't allow you to get the overall understanding for all the points for all these years. Animation allows us to get that understanding in a short time. Uh, temporal animated geomapping allows detecting spatial temporal patterns, so it allows you to see increasing, decreasing, and periodic characteristics of ground deformation. Uh, this animation is made up of raster maps generated with a reduced uh, spatial and temporal resolution for each city. Uh, they are stored in GeoServer, and uh, we are using GeoWeb Cache integrated in GeoServer to um, store the tiles of the, of the raster maps, because otherwise the animation wouldn't be smooth. These datasets are also available uh, online. You can access to the datasets uh, following this link. Uh, this is an example for the city of Turin. So as you can see, we generated raster maps using uh, a single color scheme for uh, all the cities uh, for, for each year so that through animation you can observe the deformation. Uh, for the 3D geovisualization, uh, we used uh, OGC standards through GeoServer and CZMJS API. Uh, CZMJS is an, is an API uh, for uh, visualization and exploration of three-dimensional data uh, on web. Uh, and uh, we built the terrain for the virtual globe using a 90 meter resolution uh, digital elevation model with bathymetry for the entire globe. Uh, in the WebGIS, uh, we provide uh, six base maps, and uh, you can switch between five cities and two different uh, data sets, um, which are the mean deformation velocity and cumulative deformation animation. Uh, so this is the first one. Uh, we use WMS through GeoServer uh, to overlay the um, wind deformation velocity map on the virtual globe. Uh, each deformation point can be queried and you can uh, plot the time series. Uh, to get the time series for each single point, we use WFS again through GeoServer. Uh, on the other hand, for the um, uh, deformation uh, maps visualization by animation, we use uh, WMS with time support, which is another OGC standard. Uh, this is not uh, the part of the GeoServer project, but it is a plugin to GeoServer. It is called Image Mosaic. And uh, we uh, tile uh, each raster and uh, get the data or serve the data through GeoServer using WMTS, so web map tile service, not just WMS, uh, because of the size of the um, raster maps. And uh, we animate the raster layers using the animation and timeline widgets of CZMJS. Uh, you can see in this uh, screenshot that you can uh, start the animation using the play button, you can pause it, you can change the speed of the animation, and also you can man manually, manually scroll in time. Uh, we also paid attention to the color schemes. Uh, the intervals for colors do not exceed the standard deviation of um, about one millimeter, per, one millimeter per year for mean deformation velocity and five mill millimeters for deformation. All the points having a value in an interval are colored using a single color. And also we used uh, diverging color schemes. Uh, in diverging color schemes, negative and positive values um, and the mid-range critical values uh, have put uh, a strong emphasis. 
and uh, we chose uh, the color schemes using Color Brewer Tool 2.0, which is a very popular uh, tool in cartography to choose colors. Uh, as I said before, for both data sets, for both mean deformation velocity maps and cumulative deformation maps, we use the same color scheme so that we can we enable the visual comparison between the between the cities. Uh, so as a result, um, we had we made this experiment on the generation, synthesis, sharing, and visualization of the star deformation time series for five uh, urban areas of the um, Urban Geobic Data Project. And the challenging part, I mean, the data that is big in this uh, in this project uh, was were mostly uh, the um, SAR images that we used to create the time series and also the raster maps. Since we need to animate them, it was uh, challenging to get a smooth animation. The uh, algorithm already existing existed for generating the time series, uh, the, but we proposed a novel methodology most important is to synthesize and then share and visualize them. Uh, this synthesis aims to highlight the most important characteristics uh, and the patterns within big geodata. And uh, the visualization of the synthesis enables uh, scientists, public administrators and the citizens to detect spatiotemporal patterns of deformation. Uh, we uh, chose uh, using a virtual globe instead of a 2D map uh, so that we could in incorporate the terrain data which enriches the visualization. And uh, as I said earlier, we used only open standards and free and open source, open source software for web to maximize the interoperability, replicability and reusability. So if you have any questions. Okay, so we have we have plenty of room for questions. So we'll, thank you. <laughs> so please, if you have some doubts, some we have time to discuss. Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's I'm part of the research, but uh, I think that one important point is the discussion about the status of uh, virtual globes. Because in this case, uh, we decided to use uh, cesium. We had also some experiment made uh, with the web whirlwind. In the past, we used also Java whirlwind and so on and so on, which had a uh, problems, the pros and cons in using virtual globe, as you have a lot of experience now. Okay. So, um, if I have to only talk about this use case of the project, I would uh, say that the, with the NASA Web World Wind, we had the problem of not being able to WMTS, and we definitely needed that, because we needed to tile the raster data to, to have an efficient visualization. It would be true even if we didn't, have, we didn't plan having an animation, because WMTS, if I have a raster map for the whole Italy, is mandatory. I cannot just use WMS and uh, NASA Web Wind didn't support this. And for the animation, the CZMJS already had the widgets uh, for, for animating uh, the data. Uh, and I didn't have to implement them myself, but with NASA Web Wind, I would have to implement those on my own. So CZMJS also is, has more support. Uh, NASA Web Wind had uh, recently stopped the project and then they resumed it, so it is a bit more unstable compared to CZMJS. And um, this is why at the end um, we used um, CZMJS, but uh, we had other issues for the other use cases, for instance, for the 3D city visualization, for city GML data visualization. Again, CZMJS had better support. And um, yes. So I would say these two had led to this decision. Thank you. Other questions? No? Yeah, I think everybody is starving. Mm -hmm. uh, just before closing the session, uh, I would like to remind you that the, and during the lunchtime in the 
in the hall of the theater. There are the post there are the posters of the academic tracks. So I invite every one of you to go there and catch up with the authors to uh, to discuss about. Thank you for coming.